Hey Leo, how are you guys doing? Leo, 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 Leo. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning the freak in. Was that my daughter? Oh, I thought I heard her. <laughs> All right, so Leo, please understand this is a general reading. So let's take what we need for ourselves and leave the rest for someone else. If you are watching for a Leo, the Leo may have done X, Y, and Z. Okay. Please like this video, Leo, if you have not already. And this does apply to Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming to Leo in love? Leo. So, Leo, you have go slow, take time to get to know each other. And you also have leap of faith. It's safe to make the move that you're considering. Okay. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Leo. Maybe dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you do have the Knight of Coins showing up when I cut the deck. What is coming to Leo in love? Leo, Leo. What's coming to Leo in love? Leo. So you have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Coins, the Sun. What's coming to Leo in love? Leo. You have the Page of Wands. The three of coins, the two of coins, what's coming to Leo and love? Leo, what is coming to Leo and love? Temperance could be done with Sagittarius, could be done with the Cancer. What's coming to Leo and love? Leo. Hmm. Okay. So we have Leo, we have. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have uh, Cancer here, maybe an Aquarius or an Aries. There will be a gesture here, Leo. You know, some freak will definitely make a gesture. This could be someone that you work with, possibly. Okay, but I think this person, there is someone who is romantically interested in you. Um, I think this person definitely enjoys talking to you. I think this person you know, has a pretty warm personality. They feel like you have a warm personality, obviously, you know. The vibes seem to be pretty good here, Leo. But I think there's, you know, somebody in this situation may kind of be trying to go with the flow of things right now. Uh, they may not be particularly out, you know, uh, to start a relationship at this time. But I think, you know, because they like you so much or they may, you know, there's something about patience here and building this slowly. So maybe you guys starting off as, you know, just casual or friends, and there is potential for this to go to another level, okay? But I feel like there's something about, you know, being patient, kind of just letting things unfold naturally with this person. So what is the two of coins for Leo? The nine of wands, the sun, the three of coins, and the emperor. I have to say, but for some of you, it's possible this there, there could be a third party, okay, for some of you. That could be what the two of coins is about here. What is the three of coins for Leo and love? Mmm, the knight of wands. The queen of coins reverse. You know, that knight of wands always shows up. But, I mean, it's like there's potential for love here, but at the same time, and I think this person definitely feels very drawn to you leo very very drawn to you they're very interested in you they like you a lot okay probably more more than a lot um but there may still be some kind of insecurities here maybe just from the past okay from their own past could be from your own past as well six of coins for leo so someone's giving to this but at the same time they're not like a hundred percent just all in just yet you know that's kind of what i feel they're not a hundred percent just all in yet and it could have something to do with you know like what i just said those insecurities or um if you if this is third party obviously that would be why why are you dealing with someone third party anyway <laughs> so what is the fool 
So the fool is basically, you know, giving you this green light, you know, with this person to take it seriously, you know, to, to put effort into this. Because like I said, if it is you, that's kind of one foot in, one foot out because you don't want to get hurt or whatever the case may be. I think it's safe to, um, to go to, to be with this person or to go for it. There's no need to play it, you know, safe, you know, there is, there really is no need. What is the page of wands for Leo in love? Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. I mean, it's like someone's like playing around with the idea of commitment. Like, you know what? I do like this person a lot. You know, I, um, I do have feelings towards this person. It feels pretty good. Um, I might want to be with this person. I might want to commit. I might want to do this, you know? Temperance for Leo. Some of you may just recently, um, someone may have recently got out of another relationship or um, that could be kind of what it is, what it's about as well. Someone could still be healing from something else, okay? But I don't know, I think, I think this is a good thing. If it's not third party, it's definitely a good thing. And I do think it's worth, you know, taking a chance on it, taking a risk on this. I definitely do think that. Now, if you're already in a relationship, then it looks pretty good. It looks pretty, pretty good. There's something about like traveling or, you know, like maybe if you're getting back together, you know, counseling, uh, reigniting the passion, you know, going somewhere, you know, going on a vacation or doing something to, you know, bring things back together the way they used to be. So tell me more for Leo in this love situation that is coming. Death could be a Scorpio, Leo. Judgment. Leo, what else? Hangman, what else for Leo? There's a lot of like contemplation and thinking about an opportunity that's on the table. There's a lot of thinking about it. So either way it goes, I would say, Leo, it's okay to give this a chance. It's okay to... Give this person another chance if you, you know, already have a history with them. Yeah, I think so. What is the advice for Leo in this situation? What is the advice? Nine of Cups. Hmm. I mean, you can get what you want. You can get what you want with this person. This person could be what you want. I think so. So just know communication is coming in from this person if, if it hasn't already, Leo. Okay. And I think somebody in this equation does does want more. They do want the next level, okay? But the other person is like, oh, I don't know. I love this feeling. I love how you make me feel. I love how... You know, we are when we're together, but I don't know, you know, should I, you know, invest in this? You know, should I trust this? Should I take this, this risk? Okay. And I think the answer is yes. I mean, this is a very big green light. <laughs> is what I feel, Leo. If you're worried about if this person is going to screw you up again, I don't think that they will, Leo. Leo. What else do we need to know? So you have in the Nile, far from average, Leo. You're out of my league, Leo. You have a crazy lifestyle. You have good time only. So with good time only, like I said, you may have someone who's kind of like, like I said, trying not to fall too deeply here. Okay, trying not to, um, you know, when you get with someone, okay, you know, this is going to be casual, but someone's falling here. They've been trying not to. We belong together. Romantic outing. But you have friend zone and first thing on my mind in the morning. Tell them you're mine. So I don't think this freak wants to just be friends with you, Leo. I, 
I hate to break it to you, that's not what they want. Um, and someone is about to make some kind of gesture here, okay? This is what they want. It's literally, I mean, an offer that's on the table here to further things to discuss the next steps here, okay? So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strongly in this reading, Pisces. Yeah. So that's what I have for you guys, Leo. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll talk again next time.